Hey everybody in Giants Nation, so we got reports today that there are two teams interested in Jadavion Clowney. One of them is our New York Giants, and the other main team is the Colts. Um, if you can get Clowney at $22 million a year for four years, I would say, hey, that's, that's not a bad deal. Um, he had some injuries he was dealing with last year in Seattle. When he's healthy, though, he is a really good disruptive force. I'm just afraid that the interest in Clowney is going to be so high that it could push it up to like 25 million a year. And then, as a Giants fan, you say, do you pay 25 million or do you pay your 10 million less and sign Leonard Williams at 15 million, put him at defensive end? At 25 million, I would say, yeah. Sign Leonard Williams. You could sign Leonard Williams and Marcus Golden and bring those guys back for two or three years instead of paying the one guy you can get two people. But if it's at like 20, 21 mil, I would do that. He's proven that he's a disruptive force. He did have some injuries with Seattle a little bit at the end of last year. But when he's healthy, he's a huge disruptive force on the end and at linebacker. Which, which makes me think, if you're going to go for a clowny who is versatile like that, they're gonna, you're going to see 3-4, you're going to see 4-3, 5-2, 4-6. Patrick Graham, if you watched the Dolphins last year, they played a little bit of everything, which is good. I mean, so the offense didn't know what was being thrown at them. I mean, they, they beat the, Dol the, the Patriots at the end of the year last year. Um, and that was like the Dolphins had no identity at the beginning of the year, and to beat the Dolph the the Patriots, I'm sorry, at the end of the year, it showed that Patrick Graham he knows what he's doing as a defensive coordinator. He schemed very well with not a lot of talent on the Dolphins. So if you go get a clowny at the right price, um, the Giants' defense can turn around, and you can go out and get a middle linebacker in Corey Littleton. Um, middle-of-the-road corner like a Trey Waynes. You still will have to get you have to get a right tackle, um, potentially a left tackle if they cut Solder. There's also there's things that they can do too where um, if you cut Solder, you're gonna save six million, but there's thirteen million dollars in dead cap. So he had, Solder had issues with his daughter had cancer. That's going to affect people. Whether in the game it's going to affect them or not, it's going to affect them. I mean, your family is always going to be the most important thing. So that had effect. We'll have to see if he has a bounce back the year this year. Um, Ellison is going to be gone. I believe that is five million for Ellison, and then Bethe is going to be about two. So that's another eight million. They're at seventy-five million now. You're looking at eighty-two mil. And if they were to cut somebody like a Golden Tate or Trade, which I would be personally okay with, that's another 10 million. So you're looking at right around 90. Take 20 away, and you're sitting at about 72 or three. For free agency, there's a lot of things you can get. Your middle of the round, guy, middle BC guys, you can get maybe one or two A plus players, and then you can fill for depth. And then you have the draft. Go out and get Isaiah Simmons if you were to get Clowney. Clowney and Simmons and Lorenzo Carter, if they put, do the right things with him, you have Connolly coming back from injury. There's a lot of good things that could happen with $70 million and good picks in the draft. So that's just what I think, Giants fans. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave me a like. We're up to 20 subscribers. We've gone up like four subscribers in a day. That's awesome. For a small YouTuber, to me, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Everybody, thanks for watching. Have a great day.